Now, as we've stated previously, the pathophysiology of atrial fibrillation is going to be an ectopic focus other than the sinoatrial node, which as we stated previously, is classically going to be up here in the right atrium. Instead, in atrial fibrillation, this can be coming from anywhere else, often in the upper chambers of the heart. And classically, the most common location for atrial fibrillation to originate is the pulmonary veins. This is actually the basis of one of the therapies for atrial fibrillation, which is ablation of the pulmonary veins, and therefore catheter ablation therapy addresses this underlying pathophysiology of the origination of this abnormal rhythm in the pulmonary veins, which are located right here. Now, additionally, these patients are going to have disorganization of their atrial activity, thus resulting in an absence of P waves on their EKG and more on this in the coming slides. Now, when it comes to the risk factors for the development of atrial fibrillation, especially acutely, this is really going to include anything that places strain on the heart. This can include pulmonary disease, myocardial ischemia, rheumatic heart disease, anemia, atrial myxomas. This is not difficult to understand as if we ultimately have a structural issue within the heart, and again, here we're drawing out a normal heart where we're going to have our right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, and left ventricle. Now, in about 70 to 80% of cases, our atrial myxomas are going to be located in the left atrium. So imagine that we just have this mass located in the left atrium. With the presence of this structural disease present in the atria, it shouldn't be hard to imagine that this can ultimately set off an abnormal focus in terms of an origination of electrical activity such that rather than having electrical activity originating up here in the SA node, we instead have origination of an abnormal rhythm here in a different portion of the atria. Additionally, as we mentioned, thyroid disease, and this is closely related to anemia in terms of both of these conditions setting off atrial fibrillation as both of these can ultimately lead to increased stress on the heart and ultimately over time, a high output state. Additionally, consumption of alcohol as well as sepsis can both set off atrial fibrillation.